Hello folks, I'd like to uh, tell you about trail riding and how important it is to uh, let your horse relax and when you, before you start out, make sure everything that you've got is tacked up correctly. Take your time, make sure they're brushed down good, check their feet, because if you don't have any hooves, no horse. When you get out on the trail, you want to make sure that your horse is relaxed and that horse knows that he's going to, he or she is going to have fun that day. You don't have to run your horse all day long. Just let them relax. They've been, some people don't have a great big pasture so they keep them in barns. And when you keep one in, in a barn and you take them out, they're going to be a little more hyped up, spirited, and you got to ride them to get them wore down. But when you start out on the trail, like we ride here at Pilot Mountain a lot, what you want to make sure is, is that you know these trails because right now all the leaves have fell off the trees. And there's holes in, in different places, of course. Now these trails here are kept up. These are some of the nicest trails that you can ever ride on. And, um, but, and when someone's coming, just pull off to the side like this and come down and come here, stop, okay, pull your horse around like this and let them, let people come on through, okay. Fine. Just let them pass. And they'll go on, let them go on. Take your horses and let them relax. Let them watch the people as they go by. And you see he's got his ears up. He knows there's someone that's passed. Just pat him on the neck, assure him everything's okay. Uh, she's the same way. And then what you want to do is you want to come back out on the trail look around to the right around to the left and proceed on there is good trail manners you, you know people run up here and sometimes people will run up on you and they won't tell you that they're coming and it will spook a horse and what Runners should do when they're running on the trails. Uh, it's good trail etiquette. They should say something so the horse knows that you're that the runner's coming up. And some people they run with dogs, but they, they're supposed to be on leashes in in Pilot Mountain. But anyway, as you uh, as you take your horse and go down the trail, let that horse relax. Let him enjoy looking. People, they just because a horse looks to the left or looks to the right, they get all tore up and they want to get in their mouth, and that's just absolutely ridiculous. The horse wants to have fun, and if you're constantly in that horse's mouth, he's not going to enjoy his ride, and you're, it's not going to be an enjoyable day for you. So when you're out, He's going to see different scenery, and he's going to see cows, and he's going to see deer. He might see some bear. He might see some raccoons, squirrels, rabbits, all the different things that you could think of. Uh, I mean, a tree. A tree may look like a shadow or a human, and it may it may spook the horse. Some horses are spooky. But what you want to do is is just let that horse relax. If you're not relaxed on the horse, the horse is going to know it and that horse is going to get scared and he's going, to, he's going to try you but if you just sit back and relax the horse will finally they say horses won't put their heads down well they eat grass don't they how they put the head down 
because they have to put their head down to eat grass. So if you take your horse out on the trail and you work that horse, turn him around in circles, back him up, uh, just do different things with him, he's going to make such a better trail horse for you and you're going to enjoy riding that entire day because you want to expose him to everything that you can possibly expose that horse to. So when you go off riding in groups or alone or with another horse, you don't have a horse that's trying to bite or kick or act stupid. And all these people that go off and drink and get drunk, um, they're the ones that get themselves hurt themselves. It's nobody's fault but themselves because they go off and they get, she had to shake, and they get drunk. And then the horse gets hurt or falls and they want to blame the horse. They want to start beating on the horse. Well, it's not the horse's fault. It's, it's the cotton picking drunk's fault. But anyway, we won't go there because we know how drunks are. And uh, when they're on anything or in cars or whatever it may be. But, you know, you, you want to, to love your horse and treat your horse with respect. And you will enjoy your ride uh, as we are enjoying it today. I'm going to look back at Karen now, if I can. And you'll see that Jingles, he's, uh, he's coming up. He always kind of stays behind. But he's just, he just likes to be himself. And he loves to, he, he kind of likes to lag back. But he's just a sweet, wonderful horse. And honey, she likes to, you know, she sometimes she'll poke along. And then sometimes she'll pick it up. It's just according. Uh, today's about 67 degrees. And, you know, she, she really, she's enjoying the day. And so right now she's looking at some cows. You see. See how she's getting them ears up? She's looking at the cows. And I'm letting her look. Because you want that horse to see what, what's over there. If you have to, turn the horse and take it towards you. And so she'll come right back down. But anyway, enjoy your ride. Enjoy the scenery. We're blessed so much to have these beautiful trails in North Carolina. And I want to thank the Pilot Mountain Association for all they do. It, it is such a wonderful place to, uh, to ride and to go. And may God bless you. Happy trails to everyone, and enjoy your ride today. Have a great day. Thanks.